The world's caught up in deep-rooted totalitarian trends, with attempts to snatch away citizens' spiritual freedoms under the guise of pseudo-patriotic slogans and ideas. Every day we encounter horrifying events where innocent people and organizations suffer practically um, any organization today can easily be accused of being a sect, labeled a cult, um, even if it doesn't cor correspond to reality, inevitably leading to the tarnishing of their reputation and inflicting serious damage on their legitimate activities. Such manipulation is a disease gnawing at the very core of society. Religious minorities, um, such as Jehovah Witnesses, um, the Church of Scientology, um, Protestants, um, Adventists, Muslims, and many, many others, are most frequently persecuted. Every time innocent people suffer due to their faith, it's a blow to justice and human dignity. The video I suggest everybody to go watch, it lays out the irrefutable evidence of how these ruthless forces employ intimidation, slander, and fabricated accusations to stifle at any dissent in the religious realm. The ultimate goal here is of these clandestine structures is to establish total monopoly over everybody's minds. These crimes not only destroy lives, but they also undermine the foundation of our society. Freedom of religion. This is one of the fundamental human rights. When religious minorities are, pers are pro persecuted, it restricts their freedom of worship, and this threatens all of us. This threatens that while they lo loudly persecute, um, they quietly change laws in our Constitution, trimming the rights and freedoms now of all citizens. And that's not the only one that they do that with. Tolerance and respect. Religious diversity enriches us. Persecution erodes tolerance and respect for other faiths, leading to more conflicts and division in society, which is what they want to begin with. Moral values, when we let crimes um, against religious minorities go unpunished, we lose a moral compass. This threatens all of us because no one is immune to persecution. And that's very true. We're not. So who gains, actually? Who benefits from stripping people from their legal rights and freedoms? Well, I can think of some. Watch this video. It's, it's called Undeclared War, America Under Attack by Dr. Egon Chalakian. And it's on the Earth Safe Science Collaborative's YouTube channel as well as their website. So in conclusion, human consciousness is the arena of mental warfare. Various forces are fighting over dominance over our minds, the minds of the masses, which opens up limitless possibilities for manipulation in this world. I mean, the key weapon of manipulators is to is infusing destructive narratives into the collective consciousness, cultivating chaos, fear, and apathy. By constructing matrices of total negativity, they can entice bursts of destructive emotions and paralyze resistance. And they use fear to do so. However, there are those possessing sovereignty of thought, reject imposed narratives, their shield is strict inter information hygiene, critical thinking, and clear-eyed perspective on events, immune to artificially induced atmospheres of fear. In this struggle for the liberation of the minds lies the future of humanity either sliding into the abyss of controlled chaos 
or forging a society of free aware individuals 